Welcome to the Friday free for all edition of the nightly Nuge. And Ted, I know you lost a friend and the music world lost an icon, Jeff Beck. Uh, everyone knows the yard birds. Well, as I said yesterday, there's not a meaningful guitarist in the world that didn't discover the brilliance, the lyricism, the dynamics, the vocabulary, the tonal spread of what Jeff Beck literally created. He was inspired by Chuck Berry and Bo Diddley and certainly uh, uh, The Ventures and uh, Dwayne Eddy and Lonnie Mack and and all those original electric guitar virtuosos. But Jeff Beck, I'll play one from the uh, Yardbirds over, under, sideways, down, and I'll actually re reproduce the tone. <laughs> And then the incredible uh, shapes of things, the incredible. Uh, uh, uh. That was a. Uh, um, Heart, heart full of soul, just an incredible genius in his latest years. Just recently, he was playing notes. He would find patterns that just went. Just an adventurous, creative, wonderful guy. We did a lot of shows early on with the Yardbirds and Jeff Beck Group and Beck Bogart and Apice with uh, Carmine Apice and Tim Bogart from uh, Vanilla Fudge. But his uh, musical legacy has so enriched real music lovers' life. And he was a good man. He was a kind man. And here's something people don't understand. Ted Nugent, deep into the Chuck Berry Beyond Adventure guitar experimentation, Jeff Beck, Ted Nugent celebrating the mystical flight of the arrow. Jeff Beck was an archer. Wow. Ted Nugent, the Detroit muscle, Motor City, Mopar, horsepower, fun guy. Jeff Beck, a hot rodder deep into Detroit muscle and, and horsepower. So there's a lot of parallels because the way he expressed himself on the guitar, it referenced that mechanics of horsepower milking. Mm. It represent the spirit side of the samurai, the, the martial arts. He was an archer. Uh, he shot an, uh, he made his own long bows out of Osage orange and uh, and he made his own arrows. And he so there was a lot of parallels there. But when you play with that dynamic lyricism that Jeff Beck had mastered and into uncharted tonalities, it was really uh, uh, mesmerizing. And ultimately, as I say about Eddie Van Halen and all of our lost souls, uh, uh, so many, when Chuck Berry passed, their music will continue to enrich our life. So nobody ever forget Jeff Beck. And if you haven't listened to a lot of Jeff Beck, go back to the Yardbirds and go back to <clears throat> Jeff Beck Truth, the Truth album. Unbelievable soulful music. Wow. Very, uh, very touching, Ted. Now, we still have our weekend edition, which we'll do tomorrow. But next week, Ted, I would like to kind of tackle the topic of COVID, <laughs> the jab, hydroxychloroquine, these other treatments. And I'd like to bring a guest on with us. She's uh, on the front lines of all this. Her name is Carla Dean Graves. And I just want to have you and I get the opportunity to visit with her about uh maybe what she thinks as far as the origins, the treatments, the vax or whatever, you know, you want to call it. But uh, I think that'll be very interesting. So I'll maybe every day next week, we'll, we'll talk about uh, COVID and the ramifications, but tomorrow for the weekend edition, Ted, I want to talk about two topics with you. You and I are both in the middle of policy fights, one in North Dakota regarding deer baiting and one in Pennsylvania regarding opening day. I think it's really important that the nightly Nuge listeners hear your take on both of those 
and what's really going on behind the scenes on these anti-hunting legislation legislation uh, proposals. See you tomorrow for the weekend edition, Ted. God bless America. Thank you, everybody, for supporting the Night and the Nuge. Keith, thank you so much. See you tomorrow. Mm-hmm.